here we have my dad, Roger, um, inter uh, me interviewing him for about the Framingham Heart Study. How are you doing, Dad? I'm doing great. Um, I have a couple questions. First off, why were you in Framingham, Massachusetts? That's where I was born. You were born there. And um, how were you and your family chosen to participate in the study? I'm not sure how my parents exactly got in, but I know that they picked 5,000 plus people from the small town of Framingham in 1949 to participate. They were picking adults, I'm not sure the exact ages, you know, like 25 to you know 50, something like that. And my parents just somehow happened to get included. And then after the parents were included and they were collecting information on them for about 20 years, and they invited the offspring to be involved. So, was your entire family in the study? Yes, my parents were in the study and my uh, sisters were in the study. And uh, what generation of participants are you in? I'm in the second generation. They call that the offspring study. The offspring study. And uh, how old were you when you joined? I was in my 20s. And... Um, do you, did you know a lot about the study before you joined, or did you just join because of your parents? Well, I joined because of my parents. I did know about the study. They did exams either every year or every other year. And I know uh, my mother had an x-ray where that's where they first diagnosed her lung cancer for the Framingham Heart Study. My parents were you know, immigrants from Ireland. They didn't go to the doctor very much, only if they felt sick, so, you know. I know, I know some people, because of the heart study, have, have detected things going on earlier than otherwise would have happened. Yeah. And um, how did you and the people in your community feel about doing the study? And was there any compensation involved? No, there's no money or, or anything involved for, be, for doing this. And I think the offspring, there's been like, it's about half a day to be involved one, in one of these exams. Um, because they, you, know, you go in and you take off your clothes and you put on like a hospital gown and you're in your box, in my boxers. But they, uh, that you do some surveys and some, you report on, on a variety of, uh, of uh, surveys they give you and then they do, you know, blood tests and they do a variety of things. So they do that, that takes about a half a day to do that. And they do that every four or five years. And so people feel, um, Feel like they're doing a good thing because there's information about the dangers of smoking and its impact on cancer and heart disease. If this study was one of the major places where they got data uh, that showed the impact of smoking and helped uh, create support for policies to reduce smoking. And um, how do you keep in touch when you're living in North Carolina? Well, they keep in touch. You know, I've, I've traveled a good bit. Um, I haven't lived in Massachusetts since I was 21. But um, they do stay in touch. They try to make sure they have your phone numbers and family's phone numbers, and they get in touch whenever there's a study going on, a follow-up. There's also many other studies that I'm involved in. I'm, they've taken, um, you know, x-rays and, you know, scans of my knees, a prospective study of arthritis, who's likely to get arthritis. They've taken, um, uh, I've had eye exams where they've uh, looked at, um, try to predict, you know, who gets vascular degeneration. I've had neuropsychological exams where they've tried to figure out who's at risk for getting dementia earlier. Um, so there's a variety of, of different studies. I've had a, um, you know, a bone scan to look for osteoporosis and MRIs of the brain. So. There's a lot of studies that I'm involved in. So they'll give you a call and say, you know, when you're coming to Framingham, if you're coming by, could you drop by and participate? That's cool. Um, and what do you have uh, right there, those papers? Well, these are, these papers, these are the lab results from my father. This was from 1951 is the first entry that I have. I just requested them just to want to learn a little bit about the family history. And um, so here are information about his cholesterol level and blood workup all the way going back from 1951. And it looks like um, uh, s the dates kind of vary. Sometimes the, most of these look like they're happening every one or two years, but 
how frequently they followed up with people, I think, depend upon how much grant money they had. Huh. Okay. And um, just one last question. Do you believe that your family has helped in something extremely important for all Americans? I, d I do think so. I think that this, this information is, um, it's, you know, they have information on families, you know, that, that now amounts to a sort of 60-year record of what happens uh, over time. And uh, they're able to link, you know, where people are when they're young and healthy and over a long period of time, you know, what's associated with staying healthy or not being healthy. So it's, it's information that you can't be, you know, can't be gotten any other place. And so we feel like we're, we're part of a special group of people to help you know, contribute. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, Dad, for doing this. And, You're welcome. And uh, I hope my class likes it.